The city's budget, which was approved on the 3rd of this month, is for both operational and capital cost. Government also extended a helping hand to the city by allocating $39 million for development of informal settlements. In addition, the government also allocated $2 million specifically for the development of Grootloop settlement. This brings the government's contribution to the budget to $41 million. That is, of course, a very small amount of money. Uh, sister cities like Johannesburg and Pretoria would probably would have received 2,000 times that amount that I've mentioned to you. But we welcome it. We welcome it because we are used to a situation where we rarely got government support. Mayumbelo says the ideal situation would be for government to share revenue collected through tax in the Venduk municipal area. This year's budget is impacted by increase in bulk services tariff, the negative growth in GDP, high unemployment in the city and the pressure of urbanization on provision of basic services. What we see in practice now with COVID uh, being here almost um, a year and a half, we saw even a deeper impact on our residents where we saw more unemployment coming through. People have had reduction in their salaries and their ability to pay for the services of the city is put under pressure. The city has put a 5% increase on rates and taxes. Of course, we have tried to keep tariffs at the lowest uh, possible, but obviously taking into account that we continuously need to service our infrastructure and also expand our infrastructure. Solid waste management and electricity will also increase with 5 and 3,7 percent respectively. This is however subject to approval by the Electricity Control Board. This will be the sixth year that the city has not allocated any budget for recruitment of additional city police officers. As we are speaking, we are currently reviewing our operational approaches so that we can put more effort on the use of technology. Electrification of informal settlements has been allocated $32 million. The informal upgrading pilot project $55 million and the servicing of new areas and upgrading each allocated $15 million for this financial year. Emil Sebeb, NBC News, Ventuk.